Here is another problem on Maxwell's equation. The problem is copied here. This is similar to the first problem, which we discussed in the previous video. We have to find the amplitude of the displacement current density within some device, whatever it is, which is having relative permittivity of five and an electric field E given by this equation. So E is given, we have to find displacement current density. Let us see what is the relation required. The displacement current density JD is given by dou D by dou T. That is differentiation of electric flux density D with respect to T gives us electric flux density. We know that D is equal to epsilon E. So epsilon is constant dou E by dou T. E is already given in the problem itself. We have to differentiate with the time, then have to multiply with multiply with epsilon. So no Maxwell's equation is required for this problem because Maxwell's equations are the relations between electric field and magnetic field. When you want to find one from the other, we need Maxwell's equation, otherwise not required at all. So let us continue here. JD is equal to epsilon dou by dou T of E. Let us copy the electric field here, 0 0.9 cos of 1.257 micro into 3 into 10 power 8 T minus Z into root 5. It's a vector, look at this one. E is a vector here, so we need uh, the unit vector also into mega volts per meter. So consider that mega also 10 power six. So that is a substitution. Now we shall go for the differentiation with respect to time. So epsilon 0 0.9 is constant, take it out. Differentiate cos. Before differentiating cos, check whether cos contains the variable t. t is here, so we have to differentiate now. Differentiation of cos is minus sine 1.257 into 10 power minus six. 3 into 10 power 8 t minus z into root 5 ax cap into 10 power 6. So this much is there. So we have to differentiate the argument now. First we differentiated cos, it becomes minus sign. Now we have to differentiate this argument this argument with respect to t and uh, this part is zero. It is not containing t. So differentiation of this part is three into 10 power eight t. Differentiation is three into 10 power eight into this value. So here, Okay, 1.257 into 10 power minus six into B 
bit space. 3 into 10 power 8. So this much. So this constant is multiplying both of them. Definition of t is 1. So the product of these two is given here. Now we shall rewrite uh, the equation taking all amplitude values to the front. So JD is equal to here yeah, 0 0.9 into epsilon. Let us take minus to the amplitude. Sign term, let it be there. 10 power 6 into 10 power 6 and the 1.257 into 10 power minus 6 into 3 into 10 power 8. So this is the constant value we took from the end. This value that is taken to the front. So everything is taken. Now what is left is only sign. Sign of 1.257 into 10 power minus 6. 3 into 10 power a to t minus z root 5. A x cap. So this is the complete B, J, D. That is displacement current density. But in this problem, it is required to find only the amplitude of J, D. If complete JD was required, this is the answer. We have to simplify and keep it. Since only amplitude is required, you can write that. So the amplitude of JD is, so the amplitude is simply the magnitude of the value associated with the sign term. So we can take it here is 0.9 and also epsilon. Epsilon is epsilon naught into epsilon r. Epsilon naught is 8.854 into 10 power minus 12. Epsilon r is given in the problem as 5. We check once. The numerical itself, epsilon r is mentioned here as 5. into here what happens 10 power minus 6 10 power 6 cancelled so left with 1.257 into 3 into 10 power 8 so we have to multiply this complete thing using calculator so we get an answer of 0 0.01502 ampere per meter square. So that is the amplitude of the displacement current density required for this particular problem. Thank you.